A report by the European Court of Auditors has further fueled the debate on the conflict of interest of some of the EU's 31 agencies. In times of austerity, we asked two MEPs, Bart Stas from the Green Party and Marina Yannakoudakis from the European Conservative and Reformist Group, what reform should take place. Are there any examples of the conflict of interests? In the EFSA, the Agency for Security Alimentaire, où on a vu euh, que le, le président ou la présidente du conseil d'administration était lié avec euh, certaines industries. On a aussi vu que certains gens qui travaillaient auprès de, de l'EFSA ont quitté l'EFSA et ont trouvé un emploi chez des grandes firmes pharmaceutiques. There's also problems in the European Medicine Agency, uh, the revolving door culture. Uh, the former director was left to take a job in the pharma industry, and then you have former pharma industries coming into the agency. So it's kind of not clear, you know, if there is a crossover in that area. What reform of EU agency should take place? Je pense qu'il faut renforcer les règles, les règles au sein de, de cette agence. Euh, ça c'est un point. Mais la Cour des comptes dit aussi que euh, la Commission doit venir avec euh, de la législation, notamment sur le conflit d'intérêts de tous ceux qui travaillent dans euh, dans les institutions européennes. We will need to shut down some of these agencies. At times of austerity, we have to be very sensible where we spend money and make sure we get the value added. And these agencies can actually be more carefully uh, run, managed. If they were run as, as private companies, they wouldn't be running that way. And a lot of them can um, merge together and, and do the same thing for less money.